Hi, for the next tool that I want to show you, it's called the Marquee Tool, and you have the choice between elliptical or rectangle. Now rectangle, click and drag at a diagonal, is how you use that. The elliptical, you can also just click and drag at a diagonal. Now let's say that um, you would like to make a selection because you want part of this picture. Uh, copied and pasted somewhere else. So I'm going to do edit and copy. That's copying just the selection only. And then do file and new blank file. Now take note of these dimensions. This is based on your selection and copy. Photoshop is going to use the exact size you need and no more unless you change it. So I'm going to click OK. And now I can do edit and paste and there we go. Now I can also use the move tool here to rotate this without having to go flip image or anything like that from the menu and then there you go and you want to commit to your rotation there and that's it for that. Now the next tool um, that I'll be discussing is the magic wand. It has a tolerance level so pay attention to that. If I click here it is getting just part of the carpet and if I change it to 20, and you might want to do this in increments as you're playing, and click again, you'll notice it gets a lot more, but then it starts to get things that, you know, you really don't want it to get. So this is pretty good uh, for solid colors like line art, but it's not the best tool for selections inside a photograph, so you may have been a little frustrated with that tool. Um, I am going to do the uh, magnetic lasso tool um, and the other lasso tools and the quick selection tool and the selection brush tool in a separate video. Thank you.